Princess Yongxi's been knocking for ages. So why don't you... From now on, call her Princess Consort Xiao. Looks like rain. You can't let her keep shouting. Uncle Zhong, please tell her to observe decorum as a royal sister-in-law. Plus, I'm in mourning. It's inconvenient for us to meet. She'll cause rumors to fly around the palace. Right. First. John, don't use this tone with Quan Yin. This is a misunderstanding. Listen to me. This is what has happened. Mother let you down. You can blame me for that. But know that Huang Yun was forced to marry me. Now you know, John, I didn't betray you. You can't leave me now. You can't forsake me. It's over between us. But no. It wasn't my intention to marry him. John, we can elope. We can forsake everything and leave together. I don't want to. Father is going to make me crown prince. I can't leave with you. But mostly, I can't accept that the woman I loved Married my brother. You must try to forget me. Even after I've explained it, you still use that cruel tone with me? No, John! That's all I have to say. Prince Changshan and Consort Xiao, please go now. But, John! You stop! <laughs> How dare you use that tone with Guan Yun? Go Yun! Shut up! Leave us alone! Do you realize how much she's been crying? That she's willing to give up being a princess for you? You... How could you say that? I told you. I shall bear all the sins. You can't forsake her! Promise me that you'll leave with Guan Yun. Say it now! Brother, you're happy that she married you. Since we were little, you've liked her. But you've never hit me before. We're so close. We've never fought. But this time, you hit me. And for her, royal brother, I am not a heartless cad. I understand about the pain she has suffered. Believe me. But what can I do? If I leave with her, 
What happens to Northern Chi or the state of Liang? Father wants your child to rule over Liang. If I run away with Huan Yun now, you and I will be too ashamed to be crowned princess. After father passes, who rules Northern Chi? My old destiny with Huan Yun is in the past. No. 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 You're so compatible. Brother, I never asked for anything. I have one request now. Promise me, you'll take Huan Yun back and lead a good life with her. If you feel anything for me, brother, then treat her well. Look after her. Care for her. Don't let her suffer or become ill. Swear it to me. Those should have been your duties. Now it's all over. Ever since Mother died, I've lost that right. Funny. Pretend I'm already wed. Try to forget me. From this day onwards, you will be nothing but my sister-in-law. My heart isn't yours. <sighs> Imperial Consort Lo immediately became the Empress. Greetings to Your Majesty. Greetings to Your Majesty. Long life and health to Your Majesty. It can't be. It can't be. Empress Lo killed Empress Yu. She conspired with my father. She said when he dies, mine and Gao Yan's child will take the throne. Yes, this is true. Our envoy's family died because he knew Ho Jing. He revealed this secret in order to save his own life. Of course. Of course John refuses to return. I have married his enemy's son. My God, how could he possibly forgive me? Prince Changshan is innocent. He does not know anything. Damn Empress Lo. I swear, I will kill you. I'll get revenge for John. I'll get revenge for myself! You were ill for two weeks. You're much slimmer. Why are you writing instead of resting up? Madam, I don't have a choice. While I was ill, I trusted Linglong to run the treasury. So, my top priority is to finish up with these documents. The other matters can wait. Now, don't be so serious. Even if he's Prince Changguang, you can always... Our relationship can't be. But you went through thick and thin together. You shouldn't give up something special because of a silly tantrum. What's so terrible about being with him? He is Prince Changguang, second only to his majesty. It's not that. Madam, you know I'm not petty. Though I was mad he hid his identity, I soon got over it. But why must he be Prince Tsangguang? He told me once his mom was killed by his stepmom, and he was supposed to be the rightful heir. Because of his stepmom, 
He gave his property to his older dying brother. He actually said that? Madam, do you understand why I'm a bit scared now? If he were just a lowly guard, it wouldn't be a big deal. But yes, he is Prince Tsangguang. If I was his, then he'd be able to deal with my dad's murder without much trouble. At the same time, despite the wealth and rank, I'd face attacks all the time, from everywhere. Don't be sad. It's easy to see why Consort Xiao was so vicious to you. I see it now. Tell me why. Oh, it's nothing. She and Prince Changguang were always so close. She must have hated you to the core because she thought you were on Her Majesty's side. While Prince Changguang isn't in the palace, you should resign and go back home to lead a good life. Don't get involved in all these palace intrigues. I can't leave. I came here for a reason, to avenge my dad. Until I'm a sixth rank official, I can't go home. Don't think about revenge for your father. Think about staying alive. I'll be okay. The steward Yuanfu came secretly. He told me I could stay in the palace and that Consort Xiao won't harm me again. Madam, I'm doing okay now, right? If she wanted me dead, she would have struck. How did His Majesty find out? There was no news of your relationship with the Prince, even after he rescued you. He has helped me because he's my friend. But I've been thinking about it lately. Even if I got here by pure luck, I became an official through my hard work. So I shall stay in the palace proudly and I will not depend upon His Highness or Prince Tongguang, Her Majesty or Madame Lo. I will rely on myself to rise and avenge my father. Ling Long, I looked in the workshop and I see there are people in charge of gold and jade, but nobody for porcelain? Oh, palace porcelains with the household department. Before the Liu and Lu families, both used to be the imperial suppliers. They made lovely porcelain. But then, the Lu family's kiln? Something happened to it. Now Northern Qi porcelain seems inferior, so they started to buy just from the state of Chen. Ah, uh, I understand. Ma'am, do you know Stuart Chu of the household department? All the best porcelains are with him. One time, I was choosing items for the late emperor's mausoleum. I saw an incense burner chicken-shaped, with three legs. The hollowed carvings I saw in it were amazing. The hollowed carvings? Yeah. It was chicken-shaped? Mm -hmm. Can't be. That technique has been lost since the Han Dynasty. Miss Lu! Miss Lu! Madame Lo asked for you. Right. I'm coming now. Mm. Lu Zhen, Excellency. Greetings, Excellency. We agreed last time. No formalities. Tell me, how do you feel? Any better? I'm much better. Thanks for asking. Mm. <sighs> it was all my fault, letting Wang Xuan take advantage. His Majesty said no one must talk. But I heard that Prince Chang Guang saved you that day. You know about that? Lu Jen, you kept your secret well. I thought Her Highness sent you to the palace to serve His Majesty. I didn't expect your target to be Prince Changguang instead. Your Excellency, there's nothing between the Prince and me. You're keeping this up? I heard it distinctly that night, just next to Taiye Pond. You're really mistaken. I did meet Prince Changguang by Taiye Pond that night. But it wasn't my plan. You mean to say he commanded you to do that? Madam, I'm saying nothing. 
Right. I get it. So His Majesty made a far-sighted move. <laughs> yes, madam. Since Prince Tongguang left the palace, my matter is considered over. That's your concern. But this time, you bested Consort Xiao and Wang Xuan. You're really capable. <laughs> Naturally. Everyone in internal affairs knows you have to watch me. I like talking to intelligent people. I asked you to come because I want you to help check the purchase list for Chinese New Year. When we leave the palace, you can come and advise me. 